Okay, folks, it is the rundown. And Sorry. Okay, folks, it's the rundown on July 1st. It's Canada Day. It's Bobby Bonilla Day. It's a huge day. And this rundown is sponsored by Mamitas. It's our favorite tequila hard seltzer. Mamitas is... Can I fuck this up? I restarted. No, no, keep going. The first two sentences about? say the exact same thing. What do you mean? I'm restarting this. For the no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. I'm representing this and restarting. No, no, Mamita, no, no. sponsor no, it's of... it's not... Neighborhood Eats, sponsor of... Blah, 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 you can't restart it. They were the same sentences. Shut up. It's our favorite... I'm going to restart this. Where, where's the same up. sentence? What are you fucking talking about? I literally said our favorite, Just spi- sell our the favorite drink. tequila spike seltzer from Amitas, and then it says Amitas is a hard seltzer made with real tequila. I can't say that. I gotta you can't say that. Yes, you can. You can sell the that. fucking drink. Can I just start the run down? No, can, no. no. <laughs> say no. Tell him no. Tell him no. Look, we're hammering the point home. It's I'm a hard re- seltzer. I'm going to restart the run down. People will never no. forget. If, if the editor wants to put this in, they can okay. put People it in. People will never forget that Amitas is a hard seltzer made with real tequila. Okay, it's the rundown. It's July 1st. It's Canada Day. It's Bobby Bonilla Day. It's a huge, Wait, huge day. The mozzarella. And this is presented by our favorite tequila hard seltzer, Mamitas. Mamitas is a hard seltzer made with real tequila. Mamitas comes in four delicious flavors, mango, pineapple, paloma, and lime. Mamitas is the seltzer of the summer. Get Mamitas tequila seltzer variety pack. Find that at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Mamitas summer merch is out for sale at drinkmamitas.com. Now. We got a big rundown today. A lot of sports happened last night for a Wednesday night. Wait, but say that it's like uh, Bobby Bonilla Day. And I said you, no, no, but you cut that out. No, that part got cut. You said that that was It's that was Bobby Bonilla Day. Out. Frank, if you want to bring us the check. What other days is it? You can now sleep July at City first. Field. Thanks, Bobby Bonilla. Yes, it's Bobby <laughs> Bonilla Day. We have to do this till 2035 Day. every year. Canada Day. Canada Day. Uh, Shout out to our Canadian friends. And, yep, that's Bobby Bonilla Day. So thank you for that, Tank. Thank you, Tank. Uh, my, uh, Let's go Mets. My grandma passed away 11 years ago today. That's always big July 1st day. Is that day. true? All right. Well, gee, how about bringing the whole room down, <laughs> Tommy? <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> food Tommy you at? You lot of anniversaries on July 1st Shout today. Out, but uh, we'll kick it off with our friend Brendan Walker. He won a national championship. Mississippi State won a national championship. Brendan? For the first time in, every, in history of everything. No, I said Brandon Walker. Okay, I thought you said Brendan. Brandon. So, Roan, you know Brendan Walker a lot better than me? Does he actually care? I don't really know if he actually cares. Definitely not. No. Oh, I think he does. I think he didn't at the start of this, and I think he does now. Because they won. That means he doesn't care. But he didn't, he didn't actually care. If he, it, he if didn't he, care the whole time. If he didn't care 11 days ago, I don't think that means he Minchie actually just cares. tweeted out. He's like, you didn't give a fuck about this. You're pretending to care about this. Mincy knows. Who, Mincy I, I like that Mint. I want Mince to get angry. He should. Like, if Brandon is like, I'm the one that grew the game, yada, 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 I want Mince to really go after him. I think it's going to happen. You know what I was actually told today? I think Marty said it that. A few weeks ago, Brandon Walker said he would trade a Mississippi State baseball national championship for a nine-win football season. Yes. Which I would be interested if Ben Mintz would do the same for Ole Miss. A natty? I think Ben Mintz actually uh, cares about base, college baseball. Yeah, but, I think so, too. But I feel like he also cares so much about football. Maybe Read the quote. Read the quote, Glenn. So Ben Mintz just tweeted, 2.10 p.m., you sure give a... Whoa, I, I see F star, star, star. I didn't think Mincy had a fucking fuck in him. Holy shit. So Mincy tweets out a video of Brandon Walker partying last night. You sure are taking a lot of credit for someone who did not give a flying F accent. star, 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 star. Oh, accent? Yeah, yeah, do it like you read it. Do yeah, it yeah, after, do after dinner mince. Just say, and just say What's fuck. up, Bayless? You sure are talking a lot, you sure are taking a lot of credit <laughs> for someone who did not give a flying fuck about college baseball five weeks ago. You fucking fraud. What's up, Bayless? Do you want to have, have a what's up, Bayless off right now, Tank? Yeah. What's up, Bayless? What's up, Bayless? What's up, Bayless? Tank, you don't want me in a bed mince song. Keep you don't going, want me in a You're breaking character. What's up, Bayless? It's been a long 12 days in Omaha. Go down to DJ's dugout, playing some pick central with my guys, Carl and Brandon Walker. Well, we're here those... in Omaha, and I got Brandon Walker, who's a fly-by-night hopper on the bandwagon. He didn't give a flying fuck about the old goddamn college baseball. Go <laughs> down, down to Shreveport. I had to come down home to hang out with all my favorite ESPN radio hosts that I met 30 years ago. <laughs> Go. Well, right now, we got the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and they've actually won a national championship, and Brandon Walker should be thanking me because I kept picking <laughs> against him. I think it's a tie. I think it's a tie. I think it's a tie. Hey, that, that was your first annual Ben Mintz stuff, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah, do it every the, July 1st. Yeah. We'll add it to it's the now July. Ben, to commemorate to, Tommy's grandmother. Yeah. He hasn't been in the office she for a while. She fucking so loved Ben Mintz when he was back at ESPN New Orleans back in the day. She loves Ben Mintz. Okay, we're going to get off this topic. I don't really know what to say about that. But uh, we got the Suns. Suns won last night. That was an interesting game. I can't say I watched much of it, but I did see the clip of uh, Frank Kaminsky not helping out Chris Paul, which is kind of fucked. That should be Frank Kaminsky's job. It's the 12th guy on the bench. He should have to punch uh, Patrick Beverly for, for knocking over Chris and Paul. I He's not going to play anyway. I feel like he gave a, a slight delayed shrug, which was 
even worse than doing nothing. He just watched the whole thing happen. Everybody did. I mean, Devin Booker's not supposed to do anything because he's a star. They can't afford to lose him. But, I mean, this Man, show. Good for Frank Kaminsky. Going to the NBA Finals. I wasn't totally sure. You know, he'd be in the league still at this point. I feel he's former a former Barcelona employee. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's true. Uh, I think he gave him just a slight shrug. A slight shrug. But in, in, his, in his defense as well, no other son really did anything either. Like, yeah, no one did anything. Oh, my what goodness. Yeah. That was, was a, pretty. That was most aggressive. Like, He's, gonna, he's gotta get suspended. That was for pretty that, vicious. Right? Uh, suspended. Vicious His season's basketball. over. Well, for you could cat or suspend him next season, obviously. Maybe they fine him a little cash. Who knows? I, mean, I, I, I don't, don't know. Like, I don't him. think a fine matters nearly. Well, you as do much know if the Suns respond, they get suspended for the NBA Finals. So right. perhaps that's what they're thinking. They're thinking Kaminsky picture. was thinking, we can't be without me for the NBA. That's finals. what I mean. He's not gonna <laughs> play anyway. There's no. He shouldn't be. He's he's six eleven for nothing. Patrick Beverly, for the most part, I feel like he's a guy that. You love him if he's on your team, hate him if he's on the other team because he's just kind of pesky and annoying. But this was just straight up. That's just filthy dirty. That, that was dirty, dirty, dirty. Doesn't yeah. get more dirty than you that. can't especially, defend that even if you're a, a Clipper fan. To pretty much an all-around. Well, three dirties, Glenn. Yeah, it's, that was yeah. triple dirty. That was dirty, dirty, and I dirty. And Chris Paul, is it Chris Paul? He's like one of the most beloved guys in the world who doesn't like fucking Chris yeah, Paul. I really? Like I think a him. lot of people hate Chris I thought Chris Paul. Paul I'm, I'm not the biggest NBA guy. I don't really know. I thought Chris Paul was I think like, people I hate Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Well, I think people are like, oh, good for like point God finally getting his NBA Finals appearance. I don't know. I think he's respected. I think people are like happy for like, him. Would but this I think league that... like Chris Paul or not like Chris Paul? Should we get Crick over here? I would I would love to know, actually. Yeah. Trista. 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 Get uh, Nate I, to give the Trista report. Nate, come over and give yeah, the Trista Nate, report. What's give it, Trista, give your tri Trista impression like they did a, a mince impression. No, but just give the report. Is she here talking to the mic? We can't tell. Is Trista here? No, I, I saw her today. She was here. Yeah, give so, a Trista-like take on Chris what, What's happening? I'm no, what I, was just, about. I was just wondering if Chris hey, Paul is like a university guy. loved I Italy. grew up eating cheesesteaks with uh, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise on them. Is that yeah. regular? I don't think so. No, that's sounds gross. like a, that's a sounds like a chopped hoagie. cheese. Yeah. What? That's a cheesesteak hoagie. Okay, yeah, that's how I grew up eating them. I love it. Okay, thank you, Nate. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, thank Nate. Thank you for that, Trista. All right. <laughs> Next Chris up, we got uh, Jeffrey Star on the BFFs podcast. It was quite hilarious the way it was brought up. Dave was just flipping through some notes, and he just mentioned, "Oh, so you like fuck NBA guys and rappers?" And that was quite an interesting thing. Do we have any take on that? I don't. What's this, man? NBA guys reach out to you? Um, a lot of NBA players and rappers, yes. But I have a th I have a code where I'm never gonna out them, and a lot of them have threatened to murder me if I ever say their names. So Jesus. the and sex is great. True. The names are invisible. I don't believe him. I was gonna say. I, I think he's lying. He I said don't... there's a bunch of NBA players. No, may maybe one. Maybe I, he sucked one NBA dick. I don't not believe him, but I don't think we should just automatically believe. Him. Like you he just was because stone, he, he was says stone it. face like ready. But I mean, there are so? you never know. The NBA, like I don't know, wasn't uh, wasn't there a whole thing with Dwight Howard uh, like a few years ago that he was uh, am I he was into something <laughs> like that, right? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we so you're it's saying possible maybe there's some NBA players out there, but and yeah, I'm sure there are some gay NBA players. But the thing is. Statistically, statistically, there should be like why go to Jeffrey Star is the one guy who I feel like would make it public. So if you're trying to hide Loose it, slips in more ways than one. Yeah, yeah, for blowjobs and whatnot. Yes. I mean, he's a stone-faced liar if he was lying. That but was fucking, you don't think people can stone-faced lie? Yeah, I'm you just can. saying. saying he looked great at lying. He just fucking. Right he definitely comes off looking good. Yeah. How? Yeah, it's just like an easy thing for him to say. I think it's just, I don't know, I think it's its bullshit. I don't believe him at all. I think it's just like, Juicy, it's his first interview in two years. He just wants to make it seem like, he, you know, it, it's a good place it's for him to go get headlines. Wow. I guess theoretically, I mean, if it's not true, there's no one to corroborate that it's not true. Right. Like, right? if one NBA player steps up and is like, this isn't true, then, <laughs> then you'd be like, well, that's he the did NBA, NBA player. He did like, oh, no, it's he not stopped. true, it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, hey, good for Jeffree Star. Yeah, good case, for him. Yeah. Oh, hope he was doing it. But uh, this is uh, this is a little few days old. I don't really know if you guys want to talk about it, but I haven't seen it on the rundown yet, and it was a very uh, topic close is to my heart. Is it Sopranos? The, the Many Sopranos. States of Newark trailer came out. There was also another, uh, I believe during the basketball game last night, they put out another little extra quick one-minute clip. So it was. I was pretty excited. Are you guys Sopranos guys? I don't even know. I should be. I've actually never seen it in full. Okay. And I didn't watch the entire show okay, either. So I watched the first season. I don't really season. know who to talk about this with now that you guys haven't mm -hmm. talked to Seenan, but... It doesn't fit. Are you, are you a Sopranos guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you watch the shows. Yes, I have. I know you watch the Sopranos. What did you think of the show? I liked it. It was very good. Uh, in fact, you know, I actually the town I live in... Belleville. 
Belleville, New Jersey. That's where Uncle June lives. Uncle Junior lives. Uncle Junior lives. Uncle Junior there. Junior yes. 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 You're literally uh-huh. Frank uh-huh. Fleming. I'm is literally in the Mayo Crime family. I I went to uh, middle school like two blocks from Holstein's. Oh my God. So you're. Take. You got to give us a whole Sopranos neighborhood rundown. Oh, I, I, I've, I've always lived in Sopranos neighborhood. So, um, did you watch it live? It was I, 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 I started watching it maybe season two or three, and then I, I caught it. And then up. you finished through the end. And I finished through the so, end. So, so what'd you think? It was pretty cool to see Michael, I thought it was Michael one Gandolfini be- playing uh, Tony. Oh uh, yeah, and, and and he does have a little facial resemblance. Really? It, it does. It does check out. Wait, so I what, didn't know what you had HBO. Exactly. So I did. So the movie. I got HBO just for the Sopranos. So wow. the movie is Many Saints of Newark. It's uh. Tony Soprano as a teenager being brought under his uncle who's in the mob's wing. So if you've ever seen Christopher Montesanti, Michael Imperioli's character in The Sopranos. Okay, so yeah, his yeah. dad, it's like his dad mentoring Tony kind of, but making Tony into a mobster. Because at the beginning of the trailer, they basically say Tony's in school still. He wants to go to college. And obviously, I think we could all figure out that Tony Soprano does not Is Tony do Soprano a so real person? Like, he's not a real person. So I then why did you say there's a facial, re- facial resemblance? It's his real son playing his son, so James Michael Gandolfini, Gandolfini is son. playing oh, Tony Soprano. Son. That's James Gandolfini's son right So there. is this going to be like in theaters uh, movie or just theaters, straight taste? It's on HBO Max and in theaters. I, I will be oh, there awesome. midnight release in my velour tracksuit. It's going to be fucking sick. I cannot wait. We're going to go there like a Star Wars person who yeah. like dresses up as a character. I'm going to bring some antipast. Yeah, well, have yeah, a fucking well, gabagool well, there. What you should do is try to find down. a theater where I, in the area I live in so you can watch the Sopranos movie in Sopranos Land. Well, you guys go together. We could yeah. get in, in, matching tra- in matching tracksuits. Yeah, little roasted red peppers, little gabagool, little yeah. fresh mutts. Prosciutto. Little prosciutto. prosciutto. Yes, some prosciutto. Some people, prosciutto. Some people in sneak David candy into movie it. theaters. You just sneak in like some prosciutto and super. I'm really gonna bring in a fucking antipasto. Yeah. Are you worried meats. that this is gonna be like uh, when they when they rebooted Star Wars and there was like fucking Jar Jar? Are you worried Jar Jar Binks is gonna be in this? So here's the thing. I'm not the biggest Star Wars guy in the world, but I'm pretty sure George Lucas wasn't. Involved in the in the new ones was he not? I don't really know. He wasn't involved in the new ones, but he was involved in the prequels. Yeah, so, so one through three. Jar Jar. He, so yeah, he, he, he was, was involved, involved in, in Jar Jar Binks. Yes. I thought he like wasn't fully involved. No, in the no. ones he now wasn't fully not. involved in. The, but either way, the last this is ones. this is David Chase. He made the Sopranos. He did everything with the Sopranos. He's doing this. I'm very confident in it. I mean, the trailer looks fucking insane. Hopefully, it's not a Medean trailer scenario where it sucks. But that trailer was blew the roof off the place. And then at the end, when fucking. Ray Liotta hops on the screen, and then the fucking theme song pops on. I jumped out of my seat. He almost took my shirt off. It was, it was erotic. Take your shirt off, Glenn. Dude, people have seen my nipples so much. This, I, the Barstool in the last, America yeah, we, just we, been... This is a good segue to Barstool I actually went to a, the Glennie nudity show. show. Glennie, like, I actually went to a card show just uh, last week and brought a uh, box set for $10 the Sopranos trading cards. Now, if you ever see one again, let me know, Tank. I'll give you the money for one. That sounds great. Why don't you just give him the 10 bucks now? <laughs> because he didn't seem like it was on, on for sale, you know? Yeah, but I'll if you just give it to him it. now, it won't be like later on. Just give I'll him the money now. Just I'll give him the I'll money, money now. Yeah, just Why I'll do you have to make him front for you? Just give him the money. You're not good for it? Just give him the money now. Jesus Christ, Glenn. Tank, if you see one again, I'll give you a 20. Give me two packs of them. Two packs. Nice, Frank. Thank you, Tank. That was All a lot right, of thanks, pressure. Thanks, Frank. So, <laughs> so that was a perfect transition so into perfect, Barstool versus America. We had the Yankees America. on here, but those guys suck. They we'll suck. Forget They're about not them. worth yeah. talking about. But, um, so we had a uh, Barstool versus America after show, so we're four episodes in. Have you guys watched all four episodes? I have. Yes, I've watched the first two. Copy video, <laughs> copy video watch all four. But last night, I think, was by far the craziest episode of The Challenge was fucking insane in Chicago. Shout out to Jeff D. Lowe. I tweeted that out. He was insane. He, he's in, he's he was like Jeff, a Jeff Probst Jr. He it's, really is. The way you're calling it during the... Tra- it's like sort of like a calling a sporting event to a degree, but you got a little more flair to it and it's reality TV and he's crushing it. I mean, that that challenge, that final challenge, We it was, what, maybe five or six minutes on the show. We were there for probably 20, 30 minutes. That last round, we each tried different combinations about... 15 times. It was starting it was to get crazy. statistically impossible how many wrong answers there were. Because it, it was really impossible because, no disrespect to Pat, I was the memory guy on the team. He brought us the wrong order. So once you get the wrong oh, order given to you, then to you're fucked. Yeah, then yeah, you're yeah. fucked. You just, we're just putting them in random orders. Sounds so, like kind of disrespectful to Pat. Honestly, I don't really give a fuck about being disrespectful to Pat, the way he's been talking about me on that show. He thinks he's fucking. He thinks he's Boston Rob, honestly. Yeah, Martin, there's a bunch he, of Pat Boston, thinks he's Russell Boston Hans, Rob. Pat Russell thinks he's Russell Hans, there, Boston Tony Rob, Lachos. and fucking everybody put together. Meanwhile, the guy can't fucking remember six flavors of high noons. So fuck, and he can't bowl. But um, Jesus Christ, you're you just you spit when you said that. Pat, yeah, I love. You Pat. hate Pat. Pat's my guy, but watching that back after he's like telling me I'm a dictator. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's also saying he's trying to trick me, and I'm just not believing. Maybe him. he's a dictator. He said, I'm a dictator. I won the challenge. Fucking oh. no, learn how to bowl, pal, if you want to win the challenge. They have the position of picking somebody. They dope at me at the end, and I'm on the other team. They don't pick me. 
stand up, straight up, clear, friendship, done. Like, straight up, done. Deleting numbers, no longer talking at work, like, done. 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 Have but, you been, like, you know, had all this pent-up anger in June, but you had to wait, like, for, for Pride Month to end? Just let it no, release on July 1st? No, because I'm just seeing July stuff 1st. now. That makes I'm sense, honestly, now. because it seems like... A, he, didn't like run, he didn't want to ruin... And a, seeing yesterday, him saying, I'm a dictator. I'm the least, farthest thing from a dictator. I fucking broke my neck sleeping on the couch so we could sleep yeah. in a bed on that goddamn... You gave up that? Yes. You gave up the cap and chip to Spider. And then, <laughs> if you were a dictator, you would have tried to seize all power. That's what I'm saying. I was the farthest thing from dictator. And then to, and then to you say I'm so a dictator, the ride. to say I'm selfish, I'm like, I'm the one with the power, bro. I'm the one who gets to fucking get the cool shit because I have the power. I want the cap. Who do you think's going to win? I have no idea. I can't really say that. Who do you think, I though? was on the show. If so you had to guess, who do you think? I can't think? say. Why? I cannot say because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. The really? episode should be starting right about now if you're watching it from the rundown. Wait, so you win? No, yeah. I cannot say who wins. Okay. So he said, he said no. Well, four he doesn't people win. win. Right. Four people win. But yeah. I'm saying, is you your have, blue you know, team or the Tommy's been team. writing recaps the whole time. Do you have any predictions for the final episode? Um, I think uh, so. I was tell, I, I disagreed with Glennie's decision last night to give up Captain because I just thought then that if all went according to plan and the blue team of Marty, Dana, Pat, and whoever that fourth member is win the last challenge, they would cut that last fourth member to guarantee the three of them win. Whereas they promised Glenny they would add him. But you should have realized those three were they were the three-headed dragon. They weren't breaking themselves up. But I know the rules weren't totally clear. Uh, tonight, I don't know. I think the teams are more even now. With Mar I mean, it is funny that people are like talking about Marty and Dana as if they're like fucking Olympic athletes, like unbeatable duo. But it I, we'll see. In, in um, the realm of those challenges, they were very much. Very but hey, maybe the last. I mean, I know in Survivor, the last challenge is always like an endurance, a mental challenge. So maybe that's the case yeah, here. I mean, maybe I, it's I, not. Speaking of this last challenge, I will say before you finish this rundown. Just a little teaser, because you're going to go right into this from the show. This last challenge was the closest I've ever come to dying in my life. Shut oh, wow. up. Like, Do we have to see the mozzarellas The mozzarellas, I, my, the mozzarellas got cut off tonight. Oh. Literally all cut up. What? My kids get cut up. What, were you mozzarella? wearing chain mail? They got fucking literally fresh sliced <laughs> mozzarella. You could have put them on a fucking map, on a bread, piece of bread, man. Unbelievable. It was crazy, but it was the closest I've come to dying in my life. It was the most like hurt, physically grueling thing I've ever done. And you're going to say it's stupid once you see it, but my God. It was so bad. You got to tune in. It was. It, it was. Got to watch it. Crap I don't even know what to say. To watch I'm like it. freaking out. I'm like freaking out watching it. I'm like freaking about thinking about it because it was so bad. Holy shit! It was. Any more show matches to come out? Mm, you'll have to tune in to find out. Okay. Ooh, you'll have to tune nice. in to okay, find out. Okay. All right. Huh? How's that, hey, neck, Glenn? Thank you guys for watching the rundown. <laughs> July 1st, Bobby Vanilla Day, Canada Day. Rest in peace, Tommy's grandma day. And, and uh, Ben Mintz off day. Ben Mintz. Ben Mintz day. And yeah, tune in to Barstool vs. America final episode. Should be kicking off on the website right now. Go on YouTube, will be in the comments. And uh, have a great night. Right. Enjoy Thursday. No rundowns next week. No rundowns uh, next week. Back yes. Monday, July. July 12th. 4th week, we're off. So, uh, you guys do anything fun for that week? or? No. On the final episode of Barstool vs. America. Ten days on this trip, I've had nine of them figured out. Plenty of need for $10,000. Like I'm fucking John D. Rockefeller. It all comes down to this. Because yeah. I've just been honest with everybody. Players begin to scramble. Dana, just shut your fucking stupid fat mouth one time. But he's very much straddling the fence and playing both sides. The biggest challenge yet. It was literally like a top five work experience in my life. I, it was so hard. We crown a champion and break the heart of one contestant. For the love of God, just let this whole thing end and please let it end with $10,000 in my pocket.